Kanto. Oh, boom, let's go. I think we're all in love with him. To a regular Asian guy. Why do you say, oh my God, at her Instagram page, huh? What do you what see? Do you see? No, 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 I don't know. What about you? Yeah? Oh, I'm just... What's going on everybody? Andrew here and I'm going to be reacting to Jubilee's 10 women choose his perfect match. Now we got an Asian guy here at the center of the video as The Bachelor uh, where women are going to be deciding which of the women he should go on a date with. Um, and I think it's cool because traditionally dating shows, especially the ones on TV, have not been very friendly to Asian men. Let's be honest, and they have not fared very well. Kind of have a no dating Asian sort of policy. You kind of look a bit like my brother. Oh. <laughs> so I'm excited to see something different. Maybe times have changed, but uh, let's see if anything interesting happens or if anything racial happens. Hi, I'm Listen, just to see an Asian guy walk out from behind a curtain and have that many attractive women react that positive to him is way better than how it used to be. Thank you, Jubilee. You make very thought-provoking content. And also, I think this is just, this is a good representation for Asian guys. Melvin, nice to meet you guys. How are you? This is terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. I... Thank you, thank you. We'll name him today. He hasn't been named yet. All right, real quick about Melvin. I think his style actually really fits him because he kind of is taking on a little bit of that um, off-season K-pop look where he does have that curtain bang cut with the fringe part down the middle, and then he kind of has this oversized sweater on. Um, obviously, man, he knows how to flip his hair and stuff like that, so I don't know. I think he's like 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 good height. <laughs> How are you feeling, Melvin? Better. <laughs> okay, who's popping the drinks? <laughs> Guys, I'm 19. So you can't have two. I can't <laughs> have that one. But does anyone want cider? I'll, I'm like the bartender today. I would say Melvin's whole attitude right now, like he's kind of playing the shy guy, but he's also very confident. I don't want to call him a soft boy because I think that comes with so many connotations, but definitely I would say part of his whole kind of like vibe is kind of demure. So, but, but I, I think that's very non-threatening and accessible for a lot of people. One, two, three. Okay. What's your favorite thing about yourself? I feel like I can tell like pretty good dad jokes. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, what do you call a cow with no legs? What? Ground beef. Ground beef. Ground beef. <laughs> okay, okay. What do you what do you call a cow with three legs? Tri tip. Oh, oh. That's a good one. Cheers. What is up with dad jokes? Uh, ladies in the comments, please let me know because I've been on the dating apps and a lot of women say they love dad jokes. So I don't know if that's the I mean I I guess. It's probably unoffensive comedy. It's quick one-liners. I can tell you this, this blonde Asian girl right here, she gets a lot of matches on the dating apps and I can tell you that she's probably been told that dad joke before. That's why she knew the answer because uh, yeah, I think she just gets a lot of matches. That's my hunch. Cheers, 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 cheers. <laughs> Do you guys like movies? <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Like what's movie? your favorite movie? Or top three. As a kid, my favorite movie was Forrest Gump just cause oh, it was okay. really like, it was really fun. Do you like Marvel? I do. <gasps> okay. Forrest Gump released in 1994. I remember when that movie came out. So for him, he's 19. What is he born in 2003? So for him to like Forrest Gump as his favorite movie, I feel like that's him picking a classic. Obviously, it's cool to see like Gen Z people really appreciate the, I guess, the millennial movies. So that's cool. Spider Man. Okay, classic. Spider Man. Which Spider Man though? Andrew Garfield. I'm sorry. Me too. No, that movie was like made for like the female gaze. So I'm I'm so happy that you said that. <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? There's this golfer. Her name's Lily Hu, and she's my celebrity crush. I'm like, if you're watching this, <laughs> don't hit me up. Have ten girls. Don't hit me yes. up. Lily Hu is so funny to pick. She is like. She's like, if you liked 
K-pop girls, but you wanted to like the American version that golfed, that's Lily He. She's from Sichuan, and she golfed at USC. How do I know this? Maybe because I was a fan at one point, because I'm an Asian guy who was living on the West Coast. That's a very West Coast pick, by the way. That's what I was gonna say, like, don't hit me up, like. Are you currently, like, studying anything? Yeah, I'm studying, uh, I'm majoring in PR at USC, Ooh. and then I'm minoring in computer programming. Oh, nice. Do you have any? Crazy balance right here. Melvin, I don't know if he did this purposely, but he knows PR, when you major in public relations, mostly that, that you're gonna be in a class with mostly women, because I, I think it's like 60 or 70% women in that major. However, CS is gonna be mostly men, probably like 70 to 80% guys. So he's kind of getting best of both worlds. He's gonna learn how to talk with women a lot, work with women a lot, but also he's got his, you know, the, the kind of more computerized guy side. Hobbies. Yeah, so like I'm into photography and I've done like oh. some pretty cool shoots with that. Have you been in any relationships? I have, I have. And how long? How were how they? Long? <laughs> uh, about a year. Why did it end? Mm. <laughs> yeah, so something just happened. I think I saw something that I shouldn't have seen. So. Like through the phone type? Through the phone on so Instagram. You go through the phones, you flirt through know. the phones too. Oh, I saw it on my phone. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wait, 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 what's your sign? <laughs> it was like, yeah, I saw something I wasn't supposed to, oh. And it was on my phone, oh! <laughs> what is going on? What's the story, Melvin? You gotta tell us. To be 19 and have gone through a girlfriend who I guess I'm assuming cheated on him, that's, that's unfortunate, unfortunate, man. man. Oh, like so Libra? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You're Libra? Libra. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Right. Yeah. Yo, how many Libras are there here? Oh my god. Wait, okay, so do you have like a hot take? Okay, I'm gonna need like a subject though. Wait, what kind of question is that? Is that is that what people are doing nowadays, Fred? People are saying, you got a hot take? And then you're like, hot take on what? Throw me a topic. I'm a freestyle a hot take. I don't have music. Listen. When I first listened to him, I I didn't get the hype about Frank Ocean. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> No, like it's it's good. Like it's good music, but everyone on Twitter is like, oh my god, like for artsy SoCal girls, you cannot diss Frank Ocean. Like they cry to him like every day or okay. something. So what's your top three? Top three? Okay, okay, the Marias. I like the oh, Marias. Blackpink. <laughs> uh, Baby Keem. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't go to Coachella. He said all the right artists. Literally, that's all the right artists. Rappers, Baby Keem, kind of hipster, young rapper, uh, you know, worked with Kendrick Lamar. Blackpink, of course, for your Asian side because you got to rep. Although, that is like Blackpink, you know, I don't know. I, I didn't really listen to like Spice Girls as much growing up, but... Anyways, he said the right things, okay? He's appealing to all markets. Melvin Lowkey knows what he's doing. And the girls are liking it. Melvin's a likable guy. Though I wish I did. I saw BTS that weekend though. Oh, wait, you went to Vegas? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so jealous. I was gonna go, but I went to Coachella weekend two instead. Where are you guys from? I'm from Victorville. <laughs> I'm from Colorado. Damn, why'd you say it all like that? She goes, I'm from Victorville. Be proud of where you're at. Be proud, Delilah. Colorado. Out of state. Yeah. Did you move here? Or? Yeah, for school. I go to UCSD. UCSD. So you had like you had to like, drive here. Yeah. I'm from the Bay, originally, yeah. See, that's a red flag, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, why? <laughs> no. Oh my god. So you know, Orange County, like Laguna Beach area. Another red flag, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just kidding. I'm from Fresno, but I go to UCLA, which is gonna be another red flag, because we're rivals. <laughs> <laughs> the door's over there. <laughs> Melvin, 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 flexing his USC superiority. Let me tell you this, I lived in LA for many years, and I can tell you this. The USC kids, they are maybe the most like media centric and they like to kind of interface with Hollywood a lot. They can be also the most judgmental. Uh, Jerry, you don't seem interested. Don't, don't hit me with a bus. Well, that's my personality. Yeah. I'm not. It's the age. <laughs> but he's cute. <laughs> There's some people that are like pretty long distance from him, so that might be like a 
Does anybody think there's like something wrong with the age difference? I'm 23, so I'm a little bit oh, older. Yeah. Yeah. He's 19. <laughs> I mean, so far I'm like, you probably have a lot of, a more in common right now. Oh yeah, the whole K-pop thing. Yeah. Maybe yeah. even just a couple things. <laughs> anybody like really feeling it? I think we're all in love with him. <laughs> How often do you hear that? A group of girls say, yeah, I think we're all in love with him. To a regular Asian guy. That's cool. I don't even know. I mean, I, obviously this show or this episode's kind of set up. I don't think it's scripted, but obviously they put the girls together. But I know, I think these girls really are attracted to him. Winning, winning, winning. Why do so many guys wave like this now? I get it though. When you wave to girls sometimes, you wave differently to women than you do to guys. Be honest. Like as a guy, you're just like, what's up, man? Hey. Maybe you might do one of these, the more rigid, like one, two, threes. But then with girls or like, I guess I would say elderly people too, people who you want to come off as even more like friendly and soft to you, hit them with the, I can't, I don't know. There's something about his wrist. His, I noticed this that Melvin's hand movements are kind of like, it's almost like he's carrying, you know, like a bunch of like hot dogs on his hands, like from that movie, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. It's like, hey. You ready to be done with this? <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm enjoying every moment of this. Nice How to are you? you again. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Are you nervous at all? Extremely. Me too. I'm um, a little bit nervous. Yeah, my, sorry, what are you majoring in? She's into him. She likes, that's, that's, she likes, the girl with the glasses loves Melvin. Kinesiology. Uh, like yeah. PT? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think she's interested in him. This girl, Tracy, I don't feel it. I'm community college, but I'm a business major right now. Yeah, business Are you marketing. planning on transfer somewhere? Like yes, business? not exactly sure where yet, but. Consider USC. <laughs> Melvin, Melvin, Melvin. I'm telling you, USC kids, they know the hierarchy. He was like, oh, you go to community college? Are you gonna transfer soon? Because you better wanna transfer if you got a chance with me, because I'm not gonna date no girl from community college. I'm not, I didn't say it. There's nothing wrong with community college. I'm just saying what I felt from Melvin. I go to UCLA, remember, we're rivals. <laughs> I know, a bit of a red flag, but distance wouldn't be a problem for us. I'm gonna tell you a secret. UCLA was my dream school too. Oh, really? I got waitlisted. I don't think I got off the waitlist, but then I got into the rival school and like, no. Oh, that's it. For those who don't know, USC is technically easier to get into. Their acceptance rate is a little bit higher, and they accept less kids. Uh, UCLA has a very low acceptance rate. It's super selective just because so many people apply because UCLA is a, is a state school. I, so I got rejected from USC, so... It's all arbitrary, like that Yeah. The whole process. <laughs> I can make like very basic things. Okay. Like a salmon bowl, I got you. Ooh. Other than that, I think the most complicated thing I've ever done was like... Cereal. <laughs> what are your hobbies? Um, I'm a rock climber, so I like being outside. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> are you afraid of heights? I'm not afraid of heights, mm -hmm. but I just feel like I wouldn't be athletic enough to like Oh no, it's climb over. Melvin basically counted him out with Chloe. I think Chloe's not really interested in him either, but uh she probably likes guys who like honestly more drink beer and have beards cuz she's from Colorado. That's just the stereotype. But Melvin here was like, "Yeah, basically uh, I just I just can't grab onto things, so I'm too weak." Anyways, Melvin's being honest. USC kids, very confident. It's just wow. fun. I was about to say I really like your outfit. Oh, Those boots are you. awesome. Thank you. I was scared to wear them because I didn't know how tall you were. Kind of a power move. Where'd you get the skirt? The skirt is from Depop. Shop secondhand. Oh, I'm super into fashion. I saw your little bear. You still have to name it. <laughs> what do you, you have any ideas? Honestly, I feel like Melvin Jr. was a good one. Okay. <laughs>
style is fun and like you can tell a lot about a person looking at their outfit. What would you like say about me? Okay, the black is giving like a little bit reserved, mysterious, but then the teddy bear is like, okay, well he has a soft spot. <laughs> There's two sides to everybody. You know what I've been trying to get recently? What? I want a racing jacket really bad, yeah, but I, I haven't been able to like find one. We go to thrift. We'll find one. We'll find one. Sorry. That was a good convo. You into fashion or anything like that? Not really, are you? No, I swear whatever looks I'm not nice. actually. <laughs> I have been on a date where I asked a girl a question like that, and she gave some similar answer, and I can tell you, she's not into it. She's just not. I'm not in it, no, I don't know. What about you? Yeah? No, I'm just. <laughs> I have one question. Tarantino or Nolan? OK, Nolan. Really? I'm not gonna lie. Really? Like, okay, I, I, I do find Tarantino movies like really entertaining. Yeah, yeah. I just enjoy Nolan okay, movies. Okay, okay. Favorite Nolan movie? I think girls who like Tarantino movies are more freaky. This is this might be a hot take. I should have said this earlier, but I really enjoyed Tenet. <gasps> no, like, no, really no, really? Tenet. Oh my god, I love Tenet. Growing up, I liked a lot of anime. Are you like? Are you still into anime? Or? I honestly don't have time. But I read a lot of manga, and I'm watching Spy Family right now. We should watch one together. <laughs> yeah. Um, I she shot her shot. I like it, Brenda. We should we should watch one together. All right. Very forward. I ask, like, what's your nationality? I'm Chinese. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, cool. Chinese, but um, I was born like here in LA. Mm -hmm. My mom's from China, and like my dad kind of grew up in Hong Kong. I'm Bosnian, but I grew up here. Yeah, it's just both of my parents are from there. I really like it there. I actually lived there for like a year. Oh wow! Yeah. How'd you like that experience? It was so good. I feel like it's always nice to like um, meet people that are the same. That was a really good question by Melvin. How did you like that experience of living in your motherland country? like you and just like really get in touch with your culture do you know exactly what you're like looking for like long term short term just for fun honestly i'm still trying to figure that out to be honest same, same. um i've only like been on this earth for 19 years so there's a lot for me very to like true, figure out very true. Are yeah. you he basically said i'm still out in the field baby i'm 19 i have no reason to believe that anything that comes from this is gonna be serious Involved in anything on campus? Yeah, so I'm um, a campus ambassador, and then I'm also on a dance team. You're gonna like bust out a move right oh now? Oh my gosh, no, that's so. I it would be like, crazy yeah. if you did. I can be like. I think, <laughs> I think she should. Wait, I'll teach you the way. If you do, if you do a move, I'll jerk. <laughs> Wait, okay, I'll jerk, and then you jerk. Fine, <laughs> I'll take that. Well, I'll take I don't that. I'll also show you. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That was good. Your Is turn, it my turn? turn? Is it my turn? Good. Listen, I'm I'm not like a, a, a master of doing the jerk either. That was not good though. No way. Neither of them were that good. I wonder what Delilah on the side is thinking. Yeah, so we could dance together a lot. Ten oh, seconds. Shoot. Okay, uh, rapid fire. Uh, so the weather. Yeah, it's it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your parents were Chinese, right? Yeah. My parents too. Are you Kanto or? Kanto. Yeah, Kanto, oh, let's lehe go. Lehe. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. Hey, she tried to save that. They said, yo, it's counting down. Guys, you got five seconds left. What specific type of Chinese are you? Kanto? Oh, boom, let's go. Let's go on that anime date. Thank you. Oh, good to meet you. Okay, I, I have an opinion. I think you. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's between Regina yeah. and um, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Rihanna, yes. It's between like out of you two. Yeah. For me. I feel like you guys got along really well. Yeah. That Your little conversation was so cute. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Are you ready? I'm 
I'm ready. Do you I'm trust ready. these women? I do. I do. That's a funny ass question to ask him. Do you trust these women? He has no choice. Are you sure? With my life. Oh. Hi. Are you oh my surprised? God. No. Mm. Did you, were you expecting that? Or was it a close I call? Was, I was kind of hoping for it. You were? I'm glad to hear that. It. Thank you guys. <laughs> you just did really good. <laughs> okay, so after the first round, I had Estelle, Regine, and Brianna. Guys, look, it's kind of crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no way! <laughs> what are like, the odds? Ew, that oh would have been God. awkward. We can go thrifting now. We can, and you gotta get me into USC. Thanks. <laughs> Yo, she, she looking for the socioeconomic jump. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I think it's funny how she threw that in there. Cause she was like, you know, they were talking about transferring and he's like, hey, hey, you better transfer to come to USC. You know, that's the private school. And then she's like, yeah, you gotta get me into USC. I get, I get what's going on. I see you, Brianna. Nice move. To the bear. You get to name it since you won. Brianna. <laughs> I'll go with that. I'll, that's a good name. All right, do you think we're gonna do like a number exchange? Definitely. Yeah, we're going thrifting. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right, guys. Why do you say, oh my God, at her Instagram page, huh? What do you see? I feel great. I hope she feels great. I feel awesome. Nice. <laughs> All right, everybody, just to wrap it up. I mean, do I really think they're going to go on a date? I think so. Uh, I think that Brianna showed a lot of like proactiveness and a lot of assertiveness with him. I think Melvin is one of those guys who maybe at this point in his life is looking for a girl who can kind of like pull him along and tell him what to do maybe. Um... But yeah, I mean, let's look at Melvin. Melvin is an above average Asian dude. He's tall, he goes to USC. Um, he is kind of has like that soft demeanor that is very non-threatening to women. And I think he's gonna do fine, but it, this is just cool to see this many women kind of compete for an Asian guy, I guess. Whether or not they really, really wanted him or only kind of wanted him, they all thought he was attractive. So I think that's cool. And it's a good sign for Asian guys everywhere. So hopefully, you know, uh, there can be more videos like this. But yeah, this video kind of took me back to SoCal, Southern California. Man, it just reminded me of like all those like USC, UCLA conversations I used to have when I first moved there. So that's really funny. But all right, guys, let me know in the comments down below. If you like that video, please hit that like button if you found anything interesting. And uh, let me know if there's other videos you want me to react to. Uh, until next time, I'm out. Peace.